Today we're going to talk about the five things I wish I knew before getting into racing and performance driving. Today's theme is to be purposeful and deliberate with everything that you guys do in motorsports. And that leads us to our first tip of the day is to know what you want. Know your purpose. Do you actually want to be a great performance driver or is going to the track on weekends just something that you want to do for fun, uh, flex on social media, all that stuff? Or do you actually want to become fast and known to be a fast driver in your community? Does that mean anything to you? If so, move on to all our next tips here. So you've decided to be a performance driver. Great. What do you do about it? You do exactly what you would do if you were approaching anything else in life. You find a mentor. I don't care to even sell our services or somebody else's. Just find somebody, a driver, some local crusher at your track, somebody who drives the way that you want to drive. If you want to be consistent, find somebody who's really consistent and have them show you what their mentalities are. Learn from them, speak to them. Mentorship is huge. Join the community. And as a beginner, it's pretty key to find a club or organization of kind people who are ready to share knowledge with you. And of course, the good vibes because you wouldn't be in motorsports unless you were enjoying it anyway. I know a lot of you guys want to just like show up to the track by yourself and drive the car that you want to drive, drive the car that you built. But a good mentor will exponentially accelerate your learning in motorsports. An in-car driving instructor is great because they can give you suggestions of what you could do in the car to be faster right away. And you can act on that literally the next lap. And everything you learn from some sort of HPDE or track school or some sort of in-car instruction is going to be carried forward with you to every single track day for the rest of your motorsports career. So it's so key to find good mentors, good driving instructors, people who can really show you how to build repeatable skills. Continuing on the topic of being deliberate and purposeful, our third tip is to prioritize consistency early on. Even before limit handling, turning points, breaking points, all those things that make up a fast lap, get consistent at where you're at first because it's always easier to make incremental changes as you go rather than trying to figure out what to change, what about your driving is wrong if you're just doing lap after lap sort of mindlessly and you can't really recall how you actually executed your laps. Tip number four follows our theme of being deliberate and that is to utilize sim racing. It's so much easier to do a lot of the work in the sim because the risk costs nothing. You don't have to worry about towing home a broken car or getting injured at the track. Sim builds a ton of confidence. A decent sim setup will prep you so much before going to a real life physical track and risking your expensive real life car and your real life well-being. Why pay a bunch of money for track fees at all these expensive tracks just so you spend the morning trying to figure out and going going really slow? You could alternatively just hop on the simulator for maybe 10 to 20 minutes, understand the flow of the track, and then go to the track and implement and start pushing your driving a little bit further and further. So sim is really good for building that confidence that you wouldn't otherwise have. Last tip, again with our theme of being deliberate, is to spend your money wisely. You really need that $3,000 set of coilovers to use at the track maybe four or five times a year. You could alternatively use that $3,000 that you went on coilovers to actually go to the track more often. So instead of going four times a year, you'd probably go like 10 to 12 times a year, or you'd pay for a coach, or you'd pay for all the tires and brakes, and maybe emergency funds for repairing the car for all the seat time that you want to get. This is also connected to a bunch of our previous points. It's so easy to be influenced by our community and by a lot of aftermarket companies to spend money on modifications like suspension, brakes, engine tuning, all that stuff before learning the kind of driver you actually are on the track. Do you actually like stiff suspension or is some aftermarket company telling you that's what you need to reduce roll or whatever they try to convince you that you have a new problem on your car to solve? You don't necessarily need to resort to a bunch of modifications to solve problems that don't really exist until you start figuring out what you want to change from the car and that all comes from seat time. So prioritize your seat time, consistency, practice the sim, all that stuff is related. And that's pretty much it folks. I hope you guys go to the track and be decisive with whatever you need to learn. We at B Squared are always here for you and we have a plethora of consultation products and motorsports assistance and coaching, all that stuff on our website, b-squared.io. And all these products are designed to help you get the most out of your seat time. Do you want to get coached at the track with an in-car instructor? We can provide that. Do you want somebody to review your previous track data so that you have a plan for your next track day? We can do that for you. So don't be afraid, hit us up and follow us on socials like 
share, subscribe, all that stuff, notification bell. But most importantly, go to the track, have fun, get your seat time, be deliberate. We'll see you at the track.